For the demo, we have chosen to use the RadioCraft's demo board. The demo board has multiple functionalities connected to the RadioCraft's module. We have number one, the two indicators, the yellow and the red indicator. We will come back to the function of these indicators later on. Then we have three inputs that we control through push buttons. We have the reset button and the configuration button. Config button being used to set the module in configuration mode. And the board also has provisions for, for programming and for connection to the other inputs and outputs on the module. On this side of the board we have the USB connector. And in this demo we're only going to use the USB connector to power up the device. As we can see the device has no antenna connected and as we go on to the other modules on the board on the table we have two devices that have been configured now as routers and the capabilities of the board are the same as we found on the gateway device but here you can see that the indicators are now flashing in a different pattern we have the red RSSI indicator slowly flashing and there is no light on the yellow network connector. This is telling us that the device is not connected to a network and we understand why the device is not connected. This is simply because there is no antenna on any of the boards. So the RF signals are too weak to be picked up by the other ones and no network can be formed. So now we're going to create a network and let us do that by introducing an antenna to the center device which is the router device that is closest uh, located relative to the gateway device. We can see that the red RSSI is slowly flashing and we can see on the gateway device that we have short flashes on the red indicator and no flashes on the yellow indicator. The short flashes on the red indicator on the gateway board is indicating that the gateway is sending invitational beacons. So every time the red LED is flashing on the gateway board it is sending an RF signal inviting other devices to join in the network. But because they lack the antenna, they cannot hear. So let us introduce an antenna to router number one. As the antenna is put on router number one, router number one will start hearing the beacons from the gateway device. And after a short few seconds, the router number one will now connect to the gateway and we can see that the connection has taken place by looking at the indicators. Now we can see that the yellow indicator is rapidly flashing indicating that this router has made a connection to the gateway board. The red LED is also flashing at, an, at a fairly high flash frequency indicating that the signal strength in the connection is acceptable. It's actually a very good connection. So now let's move on to router number two and we can see that router number two is now also connected to the network but the indicator signals are different. We can see that the yellow LED on this router is flashing with a lower frequency than the yellow LED on the first router. And the reason being that router number two is connected to router number one. So the low flash frequency on the yellow LED is indicating yes we do have a connection but the connection is to a different router and not to the gateway. 
So communication from router number two is now passing router number one before it is going to the gateway. If there had been more than one router on this level of the network, then the yellow LED on router number two would have had a slightly higher flash frequency, indicating that there would have been alternative routings between router number two and the gateway. Now, we can even do another test by introducing an antenna on the gateway device. When we introduce the antenna on the gateway device, the gateway will now start sending with uh, a signal strength that is easier to pick up by remote devices. So now we can see on router number two that was earlier connected to router number one that the flash frequency is now higher indicating that this router is now connected directly to the gateway and messages are no longer passing through router number one but they're going directly to the gateway. So this shows how the network automatically adapts to changing situations and it also gives a clear indication of how the network not only self-heals but automatically adjusts and creates the most efficient pathway between each router and the gateway at any time.